Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a makeup tutorial for you on this makeup look. I'm using a full face of Juvia's Place products. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieved this look, it's really pretty, um, warm toned eyes and full coverage foundation. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieved this look, then please keep watching. So starting off with a bare clean face, I'm taking the Juvia's Place concealer and I'm applying this on my eyelids, blending it out with a beauty blender to act as our eyeshadow primer. Then I'm taking a little bit of face powder. This is Juvia's Place um, Sahara Loose Setting Powder and I'm just applying that with a fluffy brush to set our eyeshadow primer. Taking the Nubian palette, and this is going to be what we use for eyeshadows. First, I'm taking a smaller blending brush, taking it into the warm brown shade, and I'm working that in the outer corners as well as working into the lash line. And then, whatever it is that I have left over on my brush, I will go ahead and run it into the crease of the eye, but mainly focusing this on the outer portion and across the lash line. Then taking a fluffier blending brush, I'm dipping into this red, the red shade here and I'm working this on the outer corners to make it look very warm and kind of have like a really warm haze to it. So I'm applying that to the outer corners and also working it into the crease for it to be like our transition but also have a really nice warm haze to the eyeshadow look. Then I will go ahead and with a fluffier brush from Real Techniques, I'm dipping into this shimmering pink shade. It's a really nice duochrome shade that is mainly pink, but it does have some reflex of gold in it. So it's really pretty when the light hits. Taking a brown eyeliner, this is a coal liner, and I'm just going to run that into my tight line as well as the water line of my eyes just making sure that we get still some sort of eyeliner there but a brown that will complement the warm tones nicely and then just go ahead and do your basic black eyeliner on the top lid now for the foundation i'm taking the magic magic touch foundation and i am mixing it in with a lot of moisturizer this one is from naturium but i do like to blend in or mix this foundation with moisturizer because it is very full coverage, but the finish is kind of matte, which is not my favorite. So when I, by mixing it in with my moisturizer, I am softening the coverage slightly, not too much, but it also makes it really easily blendable and make sure that the foundation kind of has a nice glow to it. So that's a neat trick. Then I'm taking the concealer and I'm applying that in the areas where I want to conceal as well as highlight. I know the foundation right now looks a little bit off in the color, but that's mainly because it's a full coverage foundation. Usually the color is more pigmented on them, but we will adjust that once we apply the other products. As you can see, the concealer is slightly lighter, so it'll help aid in some highlighting and color correcting. Then I'm taking that same Sahara loose powder and I'm pressing that into the areas where I get some, um, some oiliness, not applying this all over the face because I want to keep the glow on the outer portions of my face. I do take the, the same loose powder but in a shade that is way darker, darker than my skin tone and I'm applying this with a Delium Tools brush on the outer portions of my face. And I like to do this because since it is a powder, it's going to set the foundation. But since it's darker than my skin tone, it's going to act as sort of like a bronzer and adding some color back into the skin. Anyways, I do follow up with the bronzer palette and just with that top warm shade and I just add a tiny bar, a bit more bronzer into it. Uh, that way we get some nice color. I wanted this to be really warm and glowy as you'll see. Taking the Serafina blush on a Morphe uh, contour blush brush and I'm going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks and mainly work it outwards to create that nice glow. This is a really beautiful peachy blush. I use it so often. I'm taking the loose highlighter on a highlighting brush by Morphe and I do go very heavy handed with this highlighter. It is beautiful and kind of has a really nice glow from within look. 
but I wanted it to be super glowy so I went ahead and applied a ton of this onto my cheekbones but also I worked it into my brow bone as you can see I'm kind of like doing this C shape where I work in the highlighter into my brow bone and that creates a really beautiful look I've no I've really been into this technique because when the light hits just perfectly on the side of your face you have this nice glow that correlates with the cheeks I did go ahead and do my brows off camera and just jumping back into the palette with that warm brown shade we're just gonna smudge that really close to the lash line on the bottom lashes I do take that loose highlighter on a Sigma Pencil E30 brush and I'm just putting that on the inner corners of the eyes so that way our inner corner highlight correlates and matches all together with our face highlight. I'm taking some mascara and I'm going to apply a nice coat, generous coat on the top and bottom lashes. For my lips, this is actually a lip liner that they have that is really creamy and beautiful and nice and nude. Um, and I'm just going to apply this all over my lips actually. As you'll see, I start by lining it and then I just fill in the lip area. This is going to be the main lip color that we use today. And then I'm just going to top it off with a clear gloss so that way it looks nice and glossy and juicy with our look. And then that's it. That is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, watching me recreate this look with a, a full face of Juvia's Place products. I will link all the products down below if you're interested in shopping. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to see more of me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.